Hello, this is Ghostlike and welcome to another part of the series on how to use stable diffusion models on Paperspace. In this uh, video lecture I will show you how to install models other than the standard stable diffusion one on uh, gradient notebooks. Let us get started. First, we need to start a Paperspace GPU instance. To do that I will do what I've showed you a few videos ago. I'll uh, run the GPU starter script. I have it prepared over here. It is similar to the one you can find for free in the GitHub repo I provided. I will press Ctrl F5 here to start it. And it has been acquired right away. Wonderful. Now we need to sign in. This is a notebook for the project I started yesterday. It is running. Now we need to go into the terminal. I will show you how to do that now. Click on plus here. This will start a terminal session. If I type dir, you will see there are various uh, folders in the notebooks directory. This is the same thing as you can see here. In the previous versions of the ePython notebook script for setting up the web UI it was different, but now it symbolically links the storage directory in the notebooks one. Take a look. If I type storage in here, I will go into that uh, folder. This is the same thing as the directory in, in root. Storage. I'll press tab here to autocomplete. As you can see, it's the same thing. Now we'll need to go into the models directory. Right now I don't uh, have any models in it. I've erased the few that I had in the previous day. And I'll go into Hugging Face and show you how to download one of the anime specialized models. Hugging face. There are many stable diffusion variants and models based on it here. The one we are looking for is anything V3. This is the original. Right now, at, at the time of the recording, this something weird is going on and the repo has been wiped. So, what I need to do is go to the one of the duplicate repos. For example, this one. It says this, it is not the original, but it should be fine. We need to go into the files and versions, and what we will do is uh, download one of the checkpoint files. Anything V3 has uh, different versions. For example, the 7.7 GB model is the full, full version. You'd want to get this one if, if you want to train on your own dataset based on the, this uh, particular model. But if you don't, you should get one of the prune models as they are half the size. There are also the, in addition to the floating point 32 bit version one, there is the float 16 point bit one. It is, it is uh, just as good that, as the floating point 32 one, but it is half the size. So either get the checkpoint or the safe tensors version. For this video, I will get the checkpoint version. There isn't much uh, di difference. To download it, Click on it and then right click on the download and this is the correct link. Then go into the terminal and then using the vget command we can download the model. We get. As you can see the download is pretty fast. On my own personal computer the download speed is 1 or 2 megabytes per second but here it is 100 megabytes per second. That is because uh, the download is done from the Pemperspace Cloud machine, which is uh, located in the United States and much uh, faster. Now, now we have the Anything V3 model, but to make the image quality even better, we need to download the VAE, that is the Variational Autoencoder. What this is, is kind of like an add-on for the original model that makes the image quality a bit better. We'll go back here. The VAE has the suffix VAE PT. That is what you need to download. The one here, the, that is not what you need. You need just the VAE PT. I'll copy its address and then go into the terminal. Then we get Ctrl V to paste the link. And what uh, I've done is made a mistake. The VAE needs to go into the VAE folder. I'll move it there right now. To do that, type MV, which is short uh, for move, then N.V. You can press tab again to auto-complete it, and then the target folder. Now you can see the VAE PT file is not here, but if you look in the VAE folder, 
it is here. That is how moving files is done in the Linux terminal. Now we will go into the ePython notebook script and start the web UI. We need to go all over it in turn. First we need to run this cell with control enter, that is to create the variables. Then we need to clone the repository. Then we need to install the requirements. Let me just close the terminal and this, so we have more space to see what is going on. This will take a few minutes. While that is going down, we, scro we should scroll down and uh, run the link models. We need to run the link models directory. That will create the symbolic links to where the web UI can find them. Now it's queued. We need to wait a bit. We'll, we'll also queue this. Now we wait. Oh, it has started loading the web UI. That uh, should be done soon. The reason it takes so long because it takes a while to load the weights. Now we just need to run this link. Now we need to make sure that the VAE is loaded. To do that, go here, into the settings, then into stable diffusion, then click here. You will see it says anything V3 VAE PT. Click on it, then apply the settings. Now if you go into the cell output, you will see that it says VAE weights loaded. Now we can try prompting something. You can start the generation by pressing Ctrl Enter. If you want to show it in full resolution, right click on it and open the image in a new tab. Alternatively, you can just click on it again. It came out decently well. Let me show you in the cell terminal, once you click on generate, it will track the progress here as well. Right now you have the progress bar here in the web UI and it works well now, but in the past two weeks it has been broken. I spent a whole week prompting without it. I needed to go into the cell terminal just to see what was going on. The web UI can get a bit wonky at times, so when that happens, what you need to do, reset the page, like this, just reload it. When the image generation goes on for longer than a minute, in my experience, the web UI starts uh, to lose uh, track of what is going on. Even after the image generation finishes, the images won't be displayed where they should. If that happens, the images might still be generated. But in order to find them, go into the outputs directory. You can see various uh, folders here. Go into the text to image images. Oh, now the high now they have dates, it's a bit different than last time. And you, you can see they are put in their order. This is the one that I, that I generated just now. This is, uh, these are that I generated previously, using the same prompt. This one is uh, with the vanilla stable diffusion. As you can see, the style is completely different. The Anything V3 version is uh, anime style, but stable diffusion is uh, realistic. Suppose you wanted to, to switch models. Now we have the Stable Diffusion 1.5 and anything V3. If you wanted to go to Stable Diffusion 1.5, just click on this. Now it will take a while to load the weights. To find out what is going on, go back to the ePython notebook script, scroll the weight down, click on this, go down. It's loading the weights and it says it loaded them. It took 24 seconds. Now let us try some. Actually, before we try prompting, let us get rid of the anything V3 VAE. We need to do that uh, every time. It's annoying, I know. The automatic here doesn't do anything. As you can see, it says VAE weights loaded. But we, but before I start uh, the generation, let me increase the batch size. A Wi-Fi GPU like the A4000 that we are using now has 16 gigabytes of uh, video RAM. So it can do quite a bit of processing that a desktop GPU couldn't. Also, unlike the desktop GPU, it doesn't need to use video memory to display the desktop, for example. So it has even more than you'd expect. I can set the batch size to 8, to generate 8 images. Um, for some reason, an error is happening. An error has happened. I pause the video a bit and uh, tried playing around, and if I tried to generate with a batch size of 7, it works. Mm, this one has watermarks all over it.
Anyway, with a batch size of 8, it, it works pr properly. With a batch size of 8, it doesn't work for, uh, for some reason. It worked for me last time, and it will probably get fixed in the next version. Right now, let me show you how to download uh, yet another model. We'll close this one. Actually, let me just uh, show you how to prompt the same thing using anything uh, V3. Maybe it will work. We need to put, uh, turn on the VAE. But even if you forget, the image quality might not be noticeable. Let us try the batch size of 8. Nope. 